In this video we're going to discuss the screen configuration options available in Timer Pro. Probably the easiest way to see this is to go back to the uh, main menu here and select the standard templates and show you different options here to explain what's happening. If I go to the call center here and I say use and I say open the last use study. I've only got one entry here, it doesn't matter. Look at what I have here. I've basically got one column in this case containing five items. Looks like there could be a sixth one here actually. So this is a one column, six row setup here and over here I've got my rating and my quantity keypad showing right here. If I make entries here, I hit the start button, it's going to say what are you recording? I tell it what I'm recording, let's say I'm doing some inbound call on a new claim and it's an auto. It puts a description in here and when the activity ends I hit the time and it records it. So here I'm actually manually selecting element and hitting the time button when the element finishes to record the time here. If I stop this, I go to done, let's go to the next one here. And this is a pick and pack type situation. So I use this one. I'm just going to say open the last use study here. Now here I have two columns, two, four, five. Two columns of five rows each. Again I have my rating and my quantity keypads. And I hit the start button here. This one's actually using a sequence, so all I have to do is hit the time button and it advances here. But if I do anything out of sequence, let's say I'm expecting him to pack and he does an update IT record, so I select update IT record. Again, the clock is running. I wait until it ends and I hit the time at the end of that activity. So we'll stop that one and let's look at the next one. And the next one has a sample picking. I'm going to use that one, open the last use study. And you can see here I don't have any entries at all here. So here I hit the start button and the time is being recorded. I select my element, hit the time when it ends. But in this case you can see I've got three columns here and two, four, six, seven rows. So three columns of seven rows. The rating keypad and the quantity keypad is not showing here. So this is all being defined by the screen configuration. I stop this one, say I'm done, and go to the final one which is my welding one. And again, open last use study. It comes up, I've got some entries. I hit the start button. Select my element. And hit the time when it ends. In this case, you can see I've got two columns, two, four, six, eight options here. And the rating and the quantity keypad is shown here. These are different studies we've configured with different screen configurations. And the screen configuration is done over in the new template area. When you're setting up a new template, you can tell it the screen configuration here. And here you see our options. It says number of columns, number of rows. So we might say here I want to show uh, three columns of eight entries. You can actually tell it the font size of the buttons. Depending on your device, you may have a larger or a smaller screen. You can change the font size of the buttons here. So maybe I want to make it 10 font. If I've got a very small screen, I might want to make it down to 10 here. These are the font size for the buttons. These are the font size for the data, the data that's shown in the screen. So you can configure this here. This is a selection that indicates whether you are going to display or not display the quantity keypad. So it's just either on. In this case, you would see the rating and the quantity keyboards or it's off, in which case you wouldn't see them. Now our default for timing is always auto none. In other words, you saw me making selections and then hitting the time button. Selection, hit the time button. Let's say you're in a warehouse situation, things are happening very quickly. You might want to change this selection here to the auto stop on click. In other words, all you have to do is touch the button on the screen and it will record the activity and record the time and move on to the next one. So in this case you would just touch the button at the end of every activity. And the other option of course is to touch the button and it starts the activity. Now that's a difficult one always because you never know what the guy's doing. If you get to the end of the activity you know what the operator's done but if you're selecting it from the beginning you're assuming the he's going to do that. So this might be a, a less used option here. Uh, the default, as I say, is always auto none. Then you can save it 
just for this template or you can save it as a default for all your templates and you can call up the defaults for all your templates by saying use defaults so your device can have a default format that you just use over and over again here so this is how you configure your screen configurations now you can actually change the screen configurations during the course of the study so for instance if I come back out here I'm just going to go back to my uh, last year's study which is this one here now you can see here I have the rating keypad and the quantity keypad and I've got two columns of eight entries here so I might want to change this and down at the bottom here I have my screen configuration on the Android device you would select menu and select screen configuration here's my two columns by eight so let's say I wanted to make it 10 here I want to get some more information in here so I could say make it two columns by 10 the font size and these are okay I want to turn off my quantity and keypad and I then want to change it to the auto stop on click so I switch it here I can just save it for this template and I can optionally save it as a default if I want I'm not going to do that I go back here now so now if I start my study you can see first of all my quantity and rating keypad is gone I've got two columns by 10 if the time is running all I do is touch the activity and it just finishes so I'm going to touch the prepare part now watch it going in here and ending the element you see it recorded the, the prepare area I'm sorry I said prepare part now he's going to get the part that finishes he's going to put the part into jig I'm just touching the buttons at the top he's going to prepare the area for the next one and you get the part he finishes that when you finish the activity you touch the button and it records the time down at the bottom here so this is better if you're going to maybe get the weld and you're doing some kind of weld it's a six inch weld that finishes now and then you can go back up and you're going to side the welder going to remove the part and so forth so here I only have one tap to actually record the uh, entries here so you can set the screen configuration to your own particular needs depending on the nature of your study